season is all about you. Let's get down to it. Weekdays at 2 p.m. This is the Bison Football Show with Coach Tim Polisek. Brought to you by Gate City Bank for a better way of life and Pepsi. Welcome on in, Bison Nation, to another edition of the Bison Football Show along with NDSU head coach Tim Polisek. I'm Sam Niederman. Glad that you're along with us. And coach, exciting day at the Dome yesterday. Congratulations on a big first win. Yeah, it was, you know, a, a fast start. Um, some really cool things happening before the game. Uh, everything went smooth and really excited to see our guys come out and play really fast from, from the start. You know, we want us to, to focus on being a little bit better, you know, in the first quarter, you know, especially offensively. And a really exciting day, you know, always fun to get the first win. Yeah, a lot of firsts in the game. Not only the first win of the season, your first here with NDSU, but five different first career touchdowns that's got to be awesome to see and there were some really cool celebrations on the sideline yeah it'd be interesting to go back and kind of look and see if that's ever happened before right for me i'm i'm trying to remember a time that so many guys got their first touchdown or first big moment in the same day and it was really it was awesome to see the team and how they responded for each individual guy. And you can see that there's some cohesiveness on our football team. Yeah, it was a joyful day inside the Dome. Let's take a look back at how it all happened. This was a new tradition, Coach. You mentioned it, the Stampede March. Getting to walk in amongst Bison Nation. Pretty cool way to start the day as the herd prepare for their home opener. We pick things up in the first quarter. Bison opening possession. Bryce Lance, 26-yard catch here to get things started. Yeah, really simple play. Um, ordinary, turned extraordinary, right by breaking a tackle, and we're going to emphasize that this year. And that it would end up being a 12-play drive for the Bison. It would be capped off by this touchdown. What do you know? Cam Miller picking up right where he left off, using his legs, a 24-yard rushing score. Yeah, really good anticipation by the offensive staff, you know, with man coverage again. And then I thought, you know, third and three, what a great window to call a quarterback draw. You, know, you see him right there. He has space up the middle. It was a third rushing touchdown of the season for Cam. He would contribute more later on in this first half. You see him right there with your coach as the kickoff comes down. Didn't take long for the third phase of the game to get integrated. How about Enoch Sibomana right here? Yeah, I mean, phenomenal coverage. And we went with a pooch kick there because they were shifted in the back end, and we recognized that on tape. And so really good job by Coach Bershoner, you know, getting that wrinkle in there and making people have to prepare for that part of the game. Yeah, pretty cool moment for Enoch coming back into the fold healthy. Ensuing Tennessee State possession. Marcus Goley had to step up, made some big plays, including that tackle. Marcus played a great game. You know, I think he would tell you he missed out on an opportunity or two for interceptions, but he played great. Pick it up with NDSU on third and one. Barika Penu with a nice run, barreling in to Tennessee State territory. That would set up the Bison even further down in the red zone, looking to add to a 7-0 lead. And here comes the first career touchdown for Bryce Lance. Yeah, you know, Jake Landry again doing a good job. Early in the game, we noticed that their boundary safety was really playing and filling the run aggressively. And so for him to get to that call, you know, first chance, first opportunity that he could after the series before, you know, just says a lot about their communication on the offensive staff and then you know great playmaking ability out of Bryce you know creating separation and the throws on the spot. 14 nothing buys it after Bryce's first touchdown it would not be his last big celebration there you love to see it on the sidelines on the ensuing defensive possession code green gets a stop forces a punt and then how about Johnny Gores initially drops the punt able to elude the first tackler gets her out of the sideline and then this is where the magic happens he's off and running off to the races a big return into Tennessee State territory almost was able to break it loose just had a couple more guys to beat but what a moment for John Gores making something out of nothing yeah really good job again by the players and their effort and playing for each other you know a lot of guys were connected with their blocks you know for six seven seconds there and, and Johnny obviously showing some magic here um, making some guys miss and then getting into the open field and having enough speed to turn it into a big play. Yeah John Gores out of Fargo Shanley High School of course his dad Jerry former Bison 
uh, Athletics Hall of Famer with the track and field and cross country program. An awesome moment. It would not be the last that we saw of Gores in this game after another big reaction from his teammates on the sideline. It would set up this second down and goal. Marty Brown into the end zone from three. Yeah, and Marty's had a great fall camp. Um, he continues to learn uh, the offense, and so we're we're excited about his running ability, and we're going to start capitalizing on his toughness and physicality. That was his first career touchdown. Bison lead 21-0. Late second quarter, beautiful catch by Bryce Lance. Yeah, again, though, good communication with Cam, Randy, uh, and, you know, guys like Bryce, you know, talking about, hey, we can get behind these guys. Good throw and catch. NDSU in the red zone again, and then at the 12-yard line, John Gores breaking a tackle, finding his way into the end zone, his first career touchdown. It's just awesome. It's awesome to see all these guys and the way that their teammates are responding. I love to see big celebrations. I don't like seeing individual dances. And then that would bring up another defensive stop. Offense was able to drive the field quickly. Bryce Lance gets both feet in for his second TD of the half. Yeah, I wanted to take advantage early in the season of a you know two-minute drive before half. Um, we used the time out there um, to get this thing started and so forth, but really good execution, and, and we've been cleaning the two-minute drill during practice, and it's great to see it in person during the game. Yeah, it was 35 nothing at half. Coach, as you take a look at our Nodak Insurance Company, First half stats already 108 rushing yards, 185 passing yards, a 16 to 5 first down advantage, and no penalties. The Bison with a big lead at the break. There was much more in the second half. And when we come back, we'll take a look at our second half highlights presented by Gate City Bank. Stay with us. It's the Bison Football Show. Teamwork, talent, dedication leadership these values that win championships on the field build community improve lives and make a difference every single day for you for our neighbors for our community for a better way of life gate city bank when you carry blue you get a devoted team backing you up, focused on you and your well-being, making it easier and affordable for you to make health a priority. When you carry blue, you get a health plan that anticipates your challenges, that's helping shape the future of healthcare with more helpful tools and resources so you can get the most out of your benefits and focus more on living your best life. Blue Cross Blue Shield of North Dakota. Carry blue, carry on. Life is full of beautiful moments. Adventure, fun, excitement, and sometimes the unexpected can happen. With NODAC Insurance, you can keep doing what you do. Use our technology to file claims quickly online, on your phone, or lean on our award-winning service team so you can get back to what matters. Living life uninterrupted. NODAC Insurance. Agents with answers. Chronic waste and disease is 100% fatal in deer. Though rare now, it will continue to rise unless you help do something about it. Knowing its location is the key to managing chronic waste and disease. When hunting in the Northeast and Unit 3B2 this fall, plan to get your deer tested. Visit gf.nd.gov to find drop-off locations or request a self-sample kit and review the regulations. The responsibility falls on us all. Let's keep the deer herds healthy for future generations. Parents can influence their child's behavioral health in a few simple ways. The first is really having ongoing conversation. Role modeling positive behavior. Parenting starts at home and those positive influences that a parent has rolls off on their children. Sometimes just a simple question will get a child talking and you might learn things about your child that you just didn't know about before. If you get to a difficult topic, that's where you can reach out to Parents Lead and look for some of that information that might help you navigate that difficult topic. And that's one of the benefits of Parents Lead. Better starts with convenience. Better starts with trust. You can trust that your pre-approval is guaranteed on closing day, which is one less thing to worry about. Better starts with saving you money. No ATM fees and no minimum balances mean how you spend your money is up to you. Because at Gate City Bank, better starts with you. Gate City Bank, for a better way of life. 
Welcome back to the Bison Football Show here with NDSU head coach Tim Polisek, Sam Niederman. Let's take a look at our second half highlights presented by Gate City Bank. NDSU up 35 to nothing coming out of the break and coach Code Green had a chance to flex its muscles here in this opening series of the third quarter. Yeah, and I think that first clip just kind of shows, you know, the, the sturdiness up front and you can see the activity level and the effort that the guys are playing with. Yeah, a big sack by Jackson Dutenheffer getting home. That would thwart a Tennessee State drive. NDSU able to pick things up. Eli Ozick comes on, eight and a half minutes to go in the third, and he nails a 51-yard field goal. Yeah, and I was excited for that moment. I mean, he's been really kicking the ball well, obviously on kickoffs, but in practice and making a lot of field goals. And so we had an opportunity to get him out there on a longer field goal. He's got a great leg. Longest field goal for the Bison since 2016. 7.15 to play in the third quarter. Code Green now getting opportunistic. Austin Altapeter, Jalen Duffy on the fill. Duffy forcing the fumble and recovering the fumble. Yeah, and I think Nathaniel... Caused, caused it. If you look at the game film, uh, I think he got his hand in there first early. Okay. But what a great cross blitz uh, scheme versus inside zone and, and really just a great defensive play. Not the first or not the last takeaway rather for Code Green in this second half. Uh, here they are again. Keaton Wilson making a disruption. Logan Larson with the scoop. It's just great to see those young guys, you know, out there getting the opportunity to play, um, you know, in the third quarter and not just late in the fourth. And so we took advantage of that and, and really, really excited about how those young guys played. Second takeaway of the half for Code Green, early fourth quarter, Bison driving with Cole Payton at quarterback, and he connects with Makai Collins for the touchdown. Yeah, awesome job of getting his uh, left foot in the ground, you know, being a lefty and, and getting on a good platform in process one, two, and three, and the first read came open, and he did a really nice job delivering a ball and then Makai gets his first touchdown. That was the fourth of the five. <laughs> yeah. Makai out of Mankato. Gotta love it. 45 to nothing. Draylon Ellis under pressure. Here comes the third turnover. Coach Toby and Nena, and then Nathaniel Staling able to cut on the receiving end. Yeah, and that was interesting because they were reviewing it, and I was like, well, what if it's a fumble? And they said, we have to check the pass first. And so it was good that we've got uh, a big hit on the quarterback in the INT. Yeah, nice day for Toby as well. And then the cherry on top for all the first-time touchdown scorers. Nathan Hayes in at quarterback. Look at the run, coach, diving all the way home for a 51-yard score. Yeah, he's been an impressive young man. Like, he, he had a play like that in the spring event, the spring showcase. And I was like, man, he runs a little better than I thought. And then I saw him run this, this summer a lot. And he really... He really is a good athlete. He's got a bright future. We're excited about him. One more look at the play. Uh, this is him calling his own number here, or was that just a uh, design draw? You know, it's kind of a pass run option. So there are two pass plays on the outside, and then if they get covered, he can pull it down with the quarterback draw play being blocked. Fantastic. A 51-yarder for Nathan. It would make it 51-0 at the time. 52-3 to the final score, the final handshake with Coach George, and that was all she wrote for the Bison here inside the Dome as they get their first win of this 2024 season. A look at the final stats presented by Nodak Insurance Company. Uh, you look at the offensive production coach uh, did only have the one turnover but defensively held him to just 200 total yards yeah defensively it was a great performance and I liked I liked how we sharpened up this week I mean we we went out there we attacked what we didn't do well um, last Thursday or two Thursdays ago uh, and, and got some clean some things cleaned up and we still have room for improvement that's what you know these first three or four games are all about but we got to find a way to win and and you look at that we played really clean we had zero penalties in the first half you know the five penalties in the second half a little bit of some young guys playing and things like that but we for sure got to clean that up as well and Bison get the victory and after the game our Nodak insurance company player of the game Bryce Lance WDAY Sam Getzinger was able to catch up with the two touchdown scorer Bryce, does it feel like a weight off your shoulder getting in the end zone in this first game at home? Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, it's, it's been a couple of years since, uh, since I've been in the end zone, so yeah, it feels good. feels good. You are a player of the game. Johnny Gores was a close second. How cool is it to see not just him, but a lot of your teammates get career first today? Oh, my gosh. It's unreal. It's, I'm so happy for those guys. Uh, we had a lot of young guys step up today, um, but I, really, I think it just shows like the depth of our room and how hard we work day in and day out, so I'm uh, ecstatic for those guys. All right. Thank you, yeah, Bryce. Thank you. 
Uh, there you go, Coach Bryce Lance. You see the smile there on his face. Well, he's such a humble kid. I mean, you know, I think every time he gets interviewed, somebody tries to interject something about his brother. And, you know, he just simply makes it all about the receiver room, uh, about his teammates and how excited he was about his teammates' success. And I, I just I really appreciate that about a lot of our guys. You know, I mean, they're, they're into it for their teammates' success, and they, they want us to have success as a team. Seven for 106 yards, two scores for Bryce Lance. Let's take a look at our Blue Cross Blue Shield of North Dakota carry of the game. Stay a play ahead with your health when you carry blue. Find out how at bcbsnd.com. And once again, Coach, our Blue Cross Blue Shield of North Dakota carry of the game, it's Nathan Hayes making things happen as he splits it up for the 51-yard touchdown. Yeah, it's just awesome. I, I continue to watch that play, and quite frankly, maybe it wouldn't have been that hard if we could get the center and the running back on the right page. You know, they both were targeted on the same guy. There was a one-man box, but again, Nathan and, and seeing his teammates and the response tells you a lot about where we're at right now with our cohesiveness. Certainly awesome moment for Nathan coming in. The uh, pride of West Chicago, Illinois, coming from the western suburbs there. His first career touchdown for the Bison and a big moment to cap off the home opening victory. Well, a great job there on our Blue Cross Blue Shield, North Dakota carry of the game. Much more to come here on the Bison Football Show with Coach P. When we return, it's time for our Olaf Anderson feature, and we're taking a look at a new member of the herd, wide receiver Kate Osterman. That's coming up next. A better way of life is better days off and better nights in. Better hellos. And better goodbyes. With locally approved, financed, and serviced home loans, Gate City Bank makes buying a home simple. Welcome home. Gate City Bank, for a better way of life. When you carry blue, you get a devoted team backing you up, focused on you and your well-being making it easier and affordable for you to make health a priority. When you carry blue, you get a health plan that anticipates your challenges, that's helping shape the future of healthcare with more helpful tools and resources so you can get the most out of your benefits and focus more on living your best life. Blue Cross Blue Shield of North Dakota. Carry blue, carry on. We're all players in the waiting game. Whether that's for the day's first flight, first shot or the first retrieve. Entire off-seasons of prep and practice all pointed at that singular moment each of us live for. First light. Because that's when it all becomes real. And it's finally your time to shine. Shields. Hey, grab me one, too. Welcome back, Bison Nation. It is the Bison Football Show with NDSU head coach Tim Polisek. And coach, time for this week's Olaf Anderson feature of the week. WDAY's Sam Getzinger was able to catch up with a new wide receiver for the herd, Kate Osterman. Take a look. There are plenty of new faces trying to make their mark on the Bison football program in 2024. One of them, University of Minnesota transfer Kate Osterman. Playbook's starting to get comfortable with it and starting to play fast and everything now. So it's just taking another step, learning it, mastering it, and then just continue to play fast. Minnesota's former Mr. Football has been a journeyman on the field, hoping to bring a different perspective to NDSU's wide receiver room. Getting to implement that here and then taking the information that I've learned here and also combining that. So you just learn so much different technique for each position. I mean, so yeah, it helps, especially on special teams. Like, obviously, there's defensive guys doing the same position that I am on special teams so I already know some of that technique but like I said it's just mastering it. I'll do everything in my power to obtain those goals and if they don't happen I'll shrug it off and keep going keep my head down keep working so. 
Osterman, a former uh, Minnesota Mr. Football coach. He's certainly been a nice addition here to the program. Yeah, we've had a bunch of Mr. Uh, football guys from Minnesota that have really been great players for us. You know, Cade's uh, mentality, his approach uh, ever since he's gotten here has been to, you know, learn, to get to know his teammates. And honestly, he's competed really hard to try to you know, get in the mix. And that receiver room is, is being challenged a little bit right now with an injury like Raj. And so I think Cade, Cade's opportunity will probably come first on special teams. He's done a really good job competing there. Um, and, and, you know, quite frankly, we're just going to continue to coach these guys because as we get deeper and deeper in the season, you know, nobody's going to, uh, you know, if we get some injuries, we got to still go out and perform. And I think Cade's starting to knock on that door, and he's been a real um, – real positive addition uh, with recruiting in the portal. Let me ask you this, Coach. You mentioned how Cade has an opportunity on special teams. We've seen a lot of receivers contribute to that area. Tyler Turhart plays a lot of specials. Bryce Lance was on a lot of specials last year, um, kind of cutting his teeth. How does that position translate to some of the special teams units? Yeah, sometimes it, it's, you know, returner, you know, you got to have pretty good size in order to be a guy that can hold up some people and be in the blocking schemes. And so it, it, it just differs. A lot of times it comes down to their tackling ability, you know, on kickoff and on punt team. But if they have a background, Cade was such a good overall athlete in high school, you know, at Elk River, um, that, you know, he caught a lot of people's attention. He had major recruiting. It just it was all projection and it worked out the way it did. Um, but those, those receivers and running backs seem to have big roles last year and, and will continue to have roles for us this year as well fantastic well much more to do here on the bison football show when we come back we're going to wrap things up and take a look ahead to week three we're headed over to johnson city we'll preview the upcoming matchup for the bison against east tennessee state that's coming up next here on the bison football show teamwork talent dedication leadership these values that win championships on the field, build community, improve lives, and make a difference every single day. For you, for our neighbors, for our community, for a better way of life. Gates City Bank. Orthopedic pain is limiting. It's unpredictable. And when it disrupts the way you move, it disrupts the way you live. Life is better when you feel empowered to move the way you want, when you want. And that's where our experts come in. We're your guides to orthopedic and sports medicine treatment options that can manage your pain, rehab your injuries, and restore your confidence. Take back the freedom to move. Explore your orthopedic options at Sanford Health. Waste and disease is 100% fatal in deer. Though rare now, it will continue to rise unless you help do something about it. Knowing its location is the key to managing chronic waste and disease. When hunting in the Northeast and Unit 3B2 this fall, plan to get your deer tested. Visit gf.nd.gov to find drop-off locations or request a self-sample kit and review the regulations. The responsibility falls on us all. Let's keep the deer herds healthy for future generations. At Shields, we're anglers, endlessly seeking and refining techniques. We're hunters and storytellers because we've been out there. We're experts that put products and gear to the test so we can share that knowledge with you. At Shields, we understand your outdoor journey and the path you're on because we walk it too, every step of the way. Shields, right there with you. All right, welcome back into the Bison Football Show. Wrapping things up here tonight as we take a look at next weekend's battle for the Bison. Going out east to Johnson City, Tennessee. It'll be NDSU against East Tennessee State. 
kickoff at 4.30 Central Time and very much looking forward to another non-conference matchup here for the Herd. Sam Biederman, NDSU head coach Tim Polisek and coach another challenge heading back on the road here in the non-league schedule. <clears throat> yeah, and it's exciting, right? Like to go to a different location uh, for a game. I think <clears throat> these guys, you know, are multiple on defense. You know, variations of different fronts, you know, odd front and four down like North Dakota State plays. Um, one of the things I, th I find really interesting is, you know, again, this quarterback and his versatility in the RPO game, the quarterback run game. It's kind of just becoming part of, you know, football. And he's a talented guy. <clears throat> Their running back, you know, had a really good run against Appalachian State, who Appalachian State's a respectable program. They've been winning games for a long time, and I think that kid's explosive, and we got to keep him corralled. Uh, defensively, you know, I think we're probably going to focus on, you know, stopping, you know, outside zone and counter, and then the RPO and the screen stuff that comes with it. Coach, you look at it now, it's going to be a great challenge over there against ETSU, but two weeks now, uh, you've had a chance to get back in the dome. We saw the, the tradition of the Stampede March. Just your overall reflections on the last couple of weeks getting the season underway. Yeah, just so thankful, you know, for the response out of the community. I mean, number one, you know, we've worked hard at getting out and getting the message and getting the vision out there. And the, the fans, right, like they showed up on Saturday. It was a big time environment. It was loud. Uh, thanks to the student body, you know, they got there early. They were active. You know, they got their chance going right away. <laughs> um, the the stampede, I think, is going to be a great tradition. And then just it's been a it's been it's been filled with awesome people, great players, right? Two weeks of exciting football and, and we hope uh, to continue that as we move forward and um, it's been just it's been awesome it's been everything I thought it would be and, and I like where the football team's at right now uh, big week of preparation you know we're going to push these guys hard in practice for the next four or five weeks before we start cutting anything back I've been meaning to ask you ever since <clears throat> yesterday the fire and running out of the tunnel for the first time. You looked fired up. What was yeah. that moment like? Well, it was interesting because I had mentioned to the players, hey, I'm probably going to pick up the pace pretty early here coming out, <laughs> of the, coming out of the locker room. And the camera guy was slowing us down. And so we were changing speeds as we were coming in there. But it, it was. It felt, it felt big time. I, I, I'm not sure how it looked, you know, from a fan's perspective or what the, the overall arching feelings were towards it. But when I ran out there, it sure felt, it felt exciting. I was jacked up and it was good to see the guys uh, match my energy level. Uh, I could tell you it was dynamite from <laughs> our view in the press box. You could feel the energy. It was certainly fantastic. We'll be looking forward for it again two weeks from now, homecoming against Towson. That's going to be awesome. Yeah, we can't look too far ahead, but it'll be that's going to be a good matchup. Towson, Towson obviously is, uh, you know, Coach Bowl will be getting inducted in the Hall of Fame, and so we got to keep the main thing the main thing, which is practice tomorrow. But, you know, looking forward to homecoming in two weeks, and hopefully everybody shows up, and it's a great weekend. That sounds like a plan. ETSU up next for the Bison. Well, we cannot thank you enough for joining us tonight here on the Bison Football Show. A big thank you to our entire WDAY crew, producer Mike Kappel, Sam Getzinger getting our great interviews. We'll be back with you next Sunday night. So have a good one for Coach Polisek. I'm Sam Niederman. Take care and go Bison. Today's Bison football show with Coach Tim Polisek has been presented by Gate City Bank for a better way of life and Pepsi. This has been an exclusive presentation from Learfield. Hey, Tim fam, this is going to be our best season yet. Season six, no one's doing daytime like us here in the Tan Fam. No one's daring to go there, and you know we go there. Would you like to tell me more? Um.